welcome back to my channel I am zooming in to this part of the PCB to this uh, circuitry here which handles the case of a failure in the power it's not a complicated circuit so I will show you later when we see the, the schematic the main IC is this one the 1280 which uh, monitors which tension you have in your 5 volts uh, rail if this tension goes uh, too low, it will simply reset the MSX engine, preventing that uh, the system executes this, uh, any operations. This is especially important because you might be putting some uh, peripherals in here. And to be safe, it's better that the system doesn't execute things like crazy. And here you have my setup, my bench, power supply, my oscilloscope and the computer. I have connected uh, in here two wires where normally the batteries and the 5 volts regulated uh, should go in. And uh, here you have the, the ground of my oscilloscope probe. And what I will be probing is uh, mainly pin 1 of this chip, uh, IC19. This is where the reset signal will be generated. Let's do our experiment. The idea of this experiment is to check that uh, indeed uh, IC19 is uh, able to reset the system when the power supply goes uh, too low. So now uh, I have my power supply I at uh, 5 volts and you can see that the output of the chip is uh, at a high level. High level means that everything is fine. So the reset signal is negated. So if we have a high level, it means that it's not resetting the, the system. Now, gradually, I will lower the input voltage. So instead of five, now I have 4.9, still a high level, everything's fine. 4.8 high level, still okay. 4.7, still okay. 4.6, I have a low level in the output of the chip, so it means now it is resetting the system. 4.9, 4 4.8, 4 0.7, reset at 4.6. Let's have a look now at the schematics. Uh, I will be using, as usual, the schematics made by Reverse engineering uh, by, by NIGA, which are the, the best that you can find uh, out there and up to my knowledge, uh, these are the only ones that you can find. What we have in here, we have on the right the MSX engine, the S1985, and on the left we have uh, the circuit, which is the one that I showed you before, the one which uh, monitors the, the tension in your 5 volts rail and resets the engine in case this tension is too low. In the engine, we have uh, the signal, the reset uh, pin, and uh, this reset signal is negated. So when reset is low, it means that it is resetting. When reset is high, nothing happens. So it works uh, normally. Reset signal is connected uh, via this track up to here to the circuit which controls of course the reset so let's have a look uh, about how this works let me zoom in a little bit like this let's have a look at this part of the circuit uh, as you can see it is very simple so it's just a few components the main one is uh, this one the 1280R and it has uh, three pins. Uh, pin three is uh, ground, which is connected, of course, to ground via this diode. Uh, pin number two, it is the tension that it uh, monitors. So this is connected uh, here to uh, our five volts uh, rail. And this is the output of the IC. So it is uh, when it's high, it means it is resetting. When it's low, everything is fine. It's not uh, resetting. The, it is uh, comparing this tension in here that uh, it should be five volts, uh, but maybe not. This goes in 
and it compares this tension with uh, some uh, constant which depends on the model of the, of the IC. In our case we have uh, R and to know which is the threshold we need to have a look at the data sheet. And what we are uh, interested in, in here is to know to which uh, voltage this R in our model corresponds to. So according to the data sheet it should uh, detect a power failure when our VCC which is supposed to be around uh, 5 volts it is in the order of this so if it goes below let's say 4.3 it should say that reset equals high then we should invert this to low since the input in the engine it is inverted you have the output of your IC which is connected to the base of this transistor and when output is uh, low for example 0 volts this means that uh, everything is fine it hasn't detected uh, any problem in the, in the power so you put uh, your 0 volts in here with 0 volts in the base of the transistor uh, the connection between uh, the emitter and the collector is not there so this is open so actually you are connecting this via this uh, pull up resistor to VDD for high level so when output is low your reset signal is high on the other hand when output is high so it means it has detected a, a problem and it needs to, to reset when output is high you are putting here a high value let's say 5 volts for example and uh, in this situation yes the VJT is uh, saturated so you have this connection and this is just a pull up uh, resistor so you can forget about it what is important is that your reset uh, signal is connected uh, to ground via this uh, diode so here you have like uh, 0 volts approximately 0 volts so when output is high your reset is low and reset low it means that the engine is being reset so that was it for this short video about the control of the voltage of the fsa1 merry christmas happy new year see you in 2025 bye bye